sustainability, a topic that has grown exponentially in use over the past decade. But what is sustainability, and furthermore, why is it important? Simply put, sustainability is important because our future depends on it. We only have one Earth, and at the moment, it is being eroded by harmful activities such as fossil fuel depletion, rise of carbon dioxide levels, which is raising the concern of climate change. But by far, the largest harmful activity comes from us, humans. In the past, not much thought was given to what would happen if a large portion of the Amazon was cut down, or toxic waste was dumped in a water system. This thinking has had to change for the betterment of our environment. As the human population keeps growing exponentially, our cities grow larger and become more prosperous. However, this comes at a heavy price. There is destruction and loss of natural habitat, as well as increased need for resources. Thus, to facilitate everyone's need in the future, sustainable housing needs to be implemented now for all climates worldwide. Sustainability can be introduced into all facets of life with a little dedication and hard work. Sustainable housing means designing homes to reduce the overall environmental impact during and after construction in such a way that we can meet the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. This can be done through different ways, efficiently using water, energy, land and other resources, protecting occupant health, as well as reducing greenhouse gases, pollution, waste and environmental degradation. The problem in the world today is, however, that not all buildings being built are sustainable. This can be for a variety of different reasons, high cost of construction, no demand from the public, or that the design is not simply adaptable to the climate. One climate where sustainable housing is not being taken advantage of is in the desert climate areas such as in Sub-Saharan Africa, the Middle East, Australia, and certain states in the USA and South America. Desert climate is very hot and very dry, and with the extreme heat, it is because of this that many choose not to live in such climates. There is also the problem of little annual rainfall and not being able to produce much fruit from the ground. However, many big cities are situated in the desert such as Dubai, Kuwait City, Las Vegas, and Perth. Although there are big cities expanding outwards, they are not being built with sustainability in mind. This needs to change for the future, and we are here to share the solution. Introducing Domus Designs, paving the way for future sustainable desert housing. Domus is a highly sustainable building scoring a perfect 68 green star rating in Australia. It is designed as a shared living and working dwelling that uses space efficiently to accommodate five permanent tenants and ten short-term eco-tourists. This building is designed in such a way that it can adapt to any hot, dry, desert environment. Considering the weather, the harshness of the environment, and the shortage of water and electricity in any hot, dry deserts, Domus makes use of many techniques to overcome these barriers in order to provide a safe and comfortable environment to its occupants. The Domus building incorporates many design strategies learned from studies of the biological environment of many deserts. It is particularly influenced by lizards and their ability to collect water off their backs for drinking and their ability when threatened to drop and regrow their tail as a protective mechanism for survival. Inspiration for the design's spatial structure came from the desert lizard's anatomy, with the central communal interior representing the core of the body, which is integral to the functioning of the lizard, while the secondary segmented living in private residence is somewhat detached. An internal courtyard with plantings and an evaporative pool have been designed in a way to provide cooled air and moisture to the interior of the building and also help regulate the internal temperature, thus providing comfort to the residents throughout the day and night. This also eliminates the need for mechanical cooling. For water collection, the roof of the building has been designed in a way to collect the rainfall, which runs off the back of the building and collects primarily at the end point of the roof. First, it is filtered and then stored in the below-ground tank, remaining cool via the ground's thermal insulating nature. A secondary collection point around the internal courtyard makes use of the water to fill the pool for evaporative cooling and humidification of both the flexible guest accommodation space and the central living area and kitchen of the communal core. Solar panels have been used along the northern aspect of the roof to collect solar power for the electricity needs of the building's residents. 
in a similar way that lizard scales absorb the warmth of the sun to support their body's energy needs. In order to help regulate their internal ambient temperatures when faced with the extremes of the desert climate, rammed earth walls and layered structural tiles have been used which contain a high thermal mass. The materials chosen create the effect of thermal lag, a beneficial process for the building typology in the arid climate which is subjected to temperature swings, by which the dense material effectively absorbs the heat gained from the solar radiation during the day and releases this heat during the night to warm the interior when it gets cold. As well as thermal mass, rammed earth is also beneficial construction material that can be sourced from the site, requiring no transport or cost other than labor in erecting the walls. As a professional sustainable architect, I have designed many sustainable buildings for various climates, ranging from the extreme hot to the extreme cold. Yet, it has always been a difficult task for me to design a sustainable building in a hot and dry environment due to the lack of water and electricity. However, Domus cleverly and successfully approach this difficult task through the use of many sustainable strategies to design La Sotilla. La Sotilla is truly a sustainable building, which I certainly, without any doubt, would recommend to anyone as it can reduce the overall impact of the building environment on human health as well as the natural environment.